Get Biblical Understanding, along with T.A. McMahon. Wisdom is the principal thing, therefore get wisdom. And with all I getting, get understanding. Proverbs chapter 4, verse 7. This is number 217 in our series of Get Biblical Understanding. In this session, we're reading many, but certainly not all, of the biblical verses that have to do with a godly deterrent. Sin has destructive consequences, and it never pleases God who loves those whom he created to see them sin. Therefore, he has orchestrated ways and means to deter people from turning to sin as an option for the choices they make in their lives. Again, the theme of this series is a godly deterrent. 1 Corinthians chapter 10, verse 11. Now all these things happened unto them for in samples, and they are written for our admonition, upon who the ends of the world are come. 1 Corinthians chapter 11, verse 29. For he that eateth and drinketh unworthily, eateth and drinketh damnation to himself, not discerning the Lord's body. 2 Corinthians chapter 13, verse 10. Therefore I write these things being absent, lest being present I should use sharpness according to the power which the Lord hath given me to edification and not to destruction. 2 Thessalonians chapter 3, verses 14 to 15. And if anyone does not obey our word in this epistle, note that person and do not keep company with him, that he may be ashamed. Yet do not count him as an enemy, but admonish him as a brother. 1 Timothy chapter 5, verse 20. Them that sin rebuke before all, that others also may fear. Titus chapter 1, verse 9. Holding fast the faithful word as he has been taught, that he may be able by sound doctrine both to exhort and to convince the gainsayers. Titus chapter 1, verses 13 to 14. This witness is true. Wherefore, rebuke them sharply, that they may be sound in the faith, not giving heed to Jewish fables and commandments of men that turn from the truth. Hebrews chapter 2, verse 2. For if the word spoken by angels was steadfast, and every transgression and disobedience received a just recompense of reward. Hebrews chapter 3, verses 17 to 19. But with whom was he grieved forty years? Was it not with them that had sinned, whose carcasses fell in the wilderness? And to whom swear he that they should not enter into his rest, but to them that believed not? So we see that he could not enter in because of unbelief. Thanks for listening, and we hope you'll join us again as we search the scriptures in order to get biblical understanding.